What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Malky Pablo, aka the Great Tim Moore, aka the greatest fight night player <laughs> to ever live. Now, in this video, because a lot of people been asking for years, Tim Moore, you should do a top fight night players to ever play. And I did a few lists for fight night champion uh, on the forum. But you know, stuff changed. A lot of people stopped playing. A lot of people start losing, so you know the list gonna change a lot. And what make this list, in my opinion, uh, really good is I'm gonna do not only Fight Night Champion round four or round three. I'm doing all the Fight Nights combined and giving my opinion on the top 25 players to ever play. Now don't worry because I played these games on both consoles. And I am recognized the people is the GOAT. So I feel I could give my opinion on what everybody else stand. Now, in this video, y'all gonna see nothing but showcase skills from some of the greatest fighters that ever play this game. <laughs> Period. I think I'm in one of the highlights as well. But we got Chill Pill, uh, Cold Blooded, I believe myself, uh, just a few other youngins. But we're gonna get straight to the list and why I picked the list. So if I ain't mentioned your name, don't get emotional or offended. This is the top guys to me, not even the top guys I necessarily play. Just the top guys in general that I feel from a skill aspect that accomplished a lot and brought a lot to this game. Now I'm saying people, these people on this list can't be beat. I'm not saying that, but once I fully break everybody on this list down, you will see why they on this list and once again if you don't be ignorant and say i ain't heard of none of these guys because these are guys from playstation xbox fight night round three round four and champion so you're not gonna know a lot of these people unless you played both consoles like myself now we to get straight into the list Number 25, I have Aki Abdul. Now, this guy here, I believe, won two of the tournaments on Fight Night Champion when this game first came out for money. One tournament for, uh, I believe, 10000 I believe he won a tournament for 5000 if I'm not mistaken. I know he won every tournament. He beat a lot of elites. Uh, for example, it was this one guy who was elite uh, named Art. I know he picked them apart. He just dominated a lot of guys in the era of Fight Night on both consoles. He ain't just played one console. And would make this so good. And he possibly could have got higher on the list for this accomplishment right here. He won, I believe, the $10,000 tournament on both consoles. PlayStation and Xbox. He clearly deserved the number 25 spot. Number 24, I got flip tight. This is a guy who was hands down the Juan Manuel Marquez of Fight Night. He was really, really exceptional on Fight Night Round 4. He was a top 20 lightweight on the planet and he was a top 50 midweight. And when I say his counter punching skills was off the charts, I'd never seen nothing like the counter punching that he bring even to this day i still don't see guys who could do what he do what he did was out of this world he to in my opinion if you guys know him you know what i'm talking about he was good on champion too his videos on him on youtube this guy can counter trust me and he was a sim guy he didn't even exploit number 23 i gotta go with the homie fatal snipes fatal snipes man He's one guy I could truly say at heavyweight. He, in terms of OWC, he's the best OWC heavyweight I've seen by far. It's a guy named Shots. It's clearly them two. But if I had to pick the best heavyweight I went against, it's Fatal Snipes. Now, he do have some flaws. He had flaws. But I think from an offensive standpoint... He's very, very patient, smart, applies a lot of pressure 
to the point he makes you nervous about swinging, but in the process of that, you probably so uncomfortable to where you gassing out, you doing a lot of punching, you running, and he just stay composed. Like I said, he's not. He actually have a, a great defense. Sometimes I think with him, it's his stamina, and I think he get frustrated depending on how great of a boxer you is. But to be honest, I think I'm the only guy that could beat him at heavyweight. It's a few other people I'm sure could beat him, but if I had to bet my money, <laughs> I think I'm the only guy. Um, 22, we got to go guns by my side. Guns by my side was a fight night. Round three player, he didn't mess with round four at all or champion at all, which is why he isn't extremely high on this list. But the reason I got him at 22 is because... This guy, when I say, and they call him memory lane, by the way, but son, this guy here could parry good, he could counter punch, he could fight on the left side of the screen, the right side of the screen. In terms of fight night round three, guys, on PlayStation, hands down, the best I ever seen. Like, I never actually got to play it on the Xbox, but in terms of PlayStation, well, hands down. The best guy I've ever seen on Fight Night Round 3. I was able to beat him, but once he beat me, I ain't seen nothing like it. <laughs> Hands down, him. 21, Vengeance. Not Mr. Vengeance from Xbox before people say, have Vengeance get on the list. If you play PlayStation, you know who he is. He's the only guy who beat O'Halen five in a row and actually, I believe, won the series versus O'Halen. So that alone right there, the people would say, why he isn't higher uh, on your list? Uh, he's not higher on the list because a lot of people believe he had sniper counts and a lot of people believe he took losses on him. But not even that, it's just his accomplishments is pretty much, he's known for beating O'Hanlon. It ain't like he did a lot in the game. Don't get me wrong, he beat a lot of people on this game. But he ain't do it for a long period of time. He one of those guys, he had his run. And he pretty much, you know, he was out the door. Um, he right there. Uh, number 20, Junior Toe. This guy here is an exceptional fight night player. On fight night round, and by the way, sorry for the lag if this video is lagging. But fight night round four, this guy started off with me. This is a pretty decent fighter. Then he became a good fighter. Then he became a great fighter. Then it's like, okay, he's one of the best skilled boxers on this game. And then he started really ranking up, winning a lot of belts. Like, this guy really had millions of belts. And it wasn't no, oh, he's cheating. He was making real title defenses. When he lose them, he redeemed himself. Um, and he just was exceptional. Fight Night Champ Top 20. He was the guy that was taking over to the point that was looking like, dang, it's going to be really hard to beat this cat. He took his losses, but he had a lot of wins. And to be honest, you know, that's all that mattered <laughs> at the end of the day. So that's why he cracked the Top 20 with his consistency because he was consistent and he remained relevant. Which leads me to number 19, Finishing Dre. My boy, cool kid, get the job done. Reason I put him at number 19 before people say, your list is biased. No, it ain't because I got several guys on this list that I don't even like. But finishing Dre made this list, hands down, everything I hear. I never played Fight Night Round 3 on the Xbox 360, but everybody said, he was clearly a top 50 guy on that game, and he had one of the best Jeff Lacy's. And not only that, I hear a lot of people say he got one of the best jabs they ever seen in Fight Night Round 3. And of course, on Fight Night Round, I mean, on Fight Night Champion, the main reason that I have him high is his dominance at heavyweight and his consistency. This guy, man, him when this game came out, we told people. We're going to be number one and two. And, I mean, it was this way for a long time. I mean, he stayed top ten on the leaderboard. It's 2015. He was top ten on Fight Night leaderboard from 
2012 to now, and then from 2013 to the latter part of 2014, we already know the incident went down, which was uh, a guy flag glitch the leaderboard, but he he a cool guy, so we ain't getting into that. Finishing Dre was actually ranked number uh, two. It was me and him. So I'm like, his consistency and his long reign of being right high, along with his round three legacy, clearly gave him a nod. Number 18 is a guy who could have very well ended up high, which is Norton Block Solo. I meant to say higher, which is Norton Block uh, Solo. And the reason I got him this high is this. If you look at it from this perspective, everybody in their grandmother say he clearly is hands down the second best fight night player to ever live. They said the only guy ahead of him is a guy named uh, Chill Pill. It says the only guy who better. And another reason he got ranked up, I mean, uh, high on this on this list is because the guy had 13,000 wins. 13,000 wins, and he was number two hands down. His consistency alone for that got to be recognized. And then, it ain't like he just a one-dimensional guy. For one, he had a variety of styles, but Fight Night Champion, I mean, I can't name nobody he haven't beat. He even beat me a few times. He beat Captain Swifty. Um... The list goes on and on, and one stat that stands out, and the reason I'm breaking it down like this is because people will say, who is this guy? I never heard of him, when in reality, it's like he was dominant on round three, but Fight Night Champion, he beat a guy like me, uh, Captain Swift, he, he was ranked top, what, 50 heavyweights in OWC before the game, people started hacking leaderboards and uh, stuff like that, and before he removed his fighter, so... Norton was well accomplished on Fight Night Round 3 and Fight Night Champion. So I think he definitely deserved to be up there. Now, number 17, we got Chill Pill. This is we was talking about the top two Round 3 fighters. Here he is. The number before uh, Norton is 17. We got Chill Pill. A lot of people say, hands down, the Malky Pablo of Fight Night Round 3. Now, a lot of people say, since he's so good in Round 3, Technically, why isn't he top five? For one, I never fought the guy, but from what I seen from his videos, which I'm, I don't know if you guys seen it already, because I think it's on this video, some of his highlights, which he did. If you see anything round three, even that round two clip, this was this guy. But um, I put him high. Like I said, everybody say he's hands down one of the best they've <laughs> ever seen on this game i mean the hands down the best they ever seen on round three then i looked at his record on fight night round four at that time Mr. cuff king um he was ranked high pretty much every weight class fight night champion he ain't messed with it too much so technically he could have been actually really way higher but i think 17 is the right list once i go through them all and I'm going to break down who else I thought could have been probably higher. But I think 17 fit the right description for him. Because, like, everybody say he was good. Fight night round three. I ain't hit too much bad stuff from him. Fight night round four, I just know he was rank high. But I never really heard people say he was an animal in that game. But his rank and the status alone definitely landed him the 17th spot. Then number 16, we got um, Cold Bloody, who I believe is also friends with chill pill i put this guy up here because he was one of the first guys in my opinion other than myself was really about skill meaning boxing smart i really never thought it was too many guys who was put like real skills uh first in their arsenal there's not a lot of guys who do that and to me he was one of the few guys who was all about real timing real defense real skill the sweet science he could fight textbook philly shell and to me what he did for fight night as a whole for the fight night community uh, is exceptional he was the first guy really uploading videos showing people 
how to do stuff. And then he was good at every fight night. It wasn't one fight night you could truly say he wasn't good at. I thought he was a solid competitor at all of them. Fight night round four. Hands down one of the best players who beat hands down <laughs> two of the top three players ever and full medal in Jahangir Khan so he hands down deserved his spot and he's another guy who could have been uh, higher next guy on the list number 15 <laughs> my boy left hand lead now I got him number 15 on this list and this is another guy who could have been ranked higher on this list and the reason I have him at number 15 is because another thing just like cold blooded what he did for fight night was remarkable he was one of the first guys him and cold blooded to actually start uploading on youtube and see the thing is he wasn't just uploading oh i'm fighting the guy on youtube no he was going against guys that you wouldn't even dare to fight let alone <laughs> record yourself uh, fighting and then he had this signature move called the shoe shine I wish I uploaded that <laughs> footage in here boy everybody do it people if they could do it on this game fight night champion they'd do it too he'll just be waving his hand and then he'll be pretty much trying to wind it then you come in there bang, get you out the way so he definitely deserved 15 like this guy yeah fight night round four son <laughs> a machine he had this little uh, Joel Cosmayor. Man, this young in timing was impeccable. Like, my, one of my favorite fights on YouTube is him versus Friday the uh, 13th. I think I actually showed that in this video, but man, <laughs> yeah, y'all gotta check that out. Next on the list, at 14, I put Earn Money. The reason I got Earn Money at 14 is because, in my opinion, out of everybody on fight night champion when we talking about skills going to war man his fights be extreme skill meaning jab hit and move like it be that real ray leonard tommy hearns type treatment like this guy here son you go against him you know you going against a machine with skills beat guys like freezing hat he fought beat O'Hanlon in the series. I don't know. I think it actually he beat Rough Tactics. I mean, the list goes on and on on everybody he beat. El Shabazz, ETC. He's hands down, in my opinion. On Fight Night Champion-wise, his skill set is truly remarkable. A lot of people can't say they better than that guy, honestly. Um... Number 13, see what I'm saying? See, I'm not biased. I put Timmy12744 on my uh, list, a.k.a. Warrior from PlayStation. Man, I was actually cool at one point, but we ain't really that cool <laughs> now. But the reason he made this list, it ain't even that we ain't even cool. It's just, you know, he say little smart stuff, so it is what it is. But he high on my list because he was extremely good. I don't think it's too many people better than this guy. He was really good on fight night round four. Now, he got elite late, but when he got elite, he was hands down top five middleweights on the game and top five lightweights on the game. And then he had a moment on fight night champion where he was top five. So that's why, in my opinion, he cracked 13. Now, number 12, we have Captain Swifty. This guy's the definition of a gamer. This guy had, this is how serious he is, why he got really high on this list. For one, he called himself Tito Trinidad, and he have a lot of resemblance of Tito Trinidad. And he just give you that overall, he's like fight night Don King. Like, he like to promote a lot of fights, get people, and get a lot of stuff started. You know, keep fight night alive in a sense. And one thing to me that he did that went unnoticed, that's very impeccable is he tried to take my brand on fight night man him was ranked close at the same time so nevertheless you know my squad felt that he did something wrong so they complained to ea sports so ea sports removed him off the leaderboard and the next thing i know less than a month later on the account that's not even ranked 
he get past me legitly at number one on the leaderboard. I said, man, I know, man, him don't like each other, but this guy here, what he did is remarkable. I mean, his dedication, and then not to mention, he beat a lot of people. I'd never forget, he beat O'Hanlon's. Oscar De La Hoya with Ricky Hatton. I mean, how can't you put a guy who did that high? I'm like, his dedication, he fought a lot of fights. He beat pretty much every elite on this game. And he one of the few guys who made fight night even entertaining, regardless if we cool or not. So he have to be extremely high on this list. It would be the only way to do it. Uh, number 11, best in Detroit. Hands down, the best heavyweight on Fight Night Champion. Fatal Snipes is the best OWC heavyweight. Detroit, in my opinion, is the best overall heavyweight. I'm talking about C1. He's the definition of Mike Tyson goes to a video game. Son, if he hits you with any punch, son, flesh, you going to sleep. He had this body attack when he had pressure you. It's no moving from that. I don't care who you is. You're not getting out of the way of it. I don't care how good your defense is. I don't care if you got Floyd defense, sucker. You're going against Mike Tyson. you getting hit. Plain and simple. And he was good at other weight classes after a while. His best, I said his best in Detroit. His Tommy Hearns is, in my opinion, top five on this whole game. But the heavyweight best in Detroit, yeah. It's the next level. Y'all don't want no smoke <laughs> with that. Next on the list, number 10, Rough Tactics. One thing he have in common is what I'm cold-blooded and left-hand lead have in common. He flat out the reason that a lot of people are able to get good. He did tutorials, and not only did he do tutorials against other elites, he was beating elites since Fight Night Round 3. Fight Night Round 3. He was a top 20 player. Fight night round four, top 20 player. Fight night champion. He ain't played this one as much, but he was able to win in tournaments. Like, he had a few tournaments where he won some money, played for money on Virgin Gaming, uh, had a successful run. He clearly got number 10. And, man, him arguably has hands down the most entertaining in YouTube fight in YouTube history. He deserved number 10, in my opinion. No question. Number nine, we have Seagal's backhand. Seagal's backhand was a guy who's a really good boxer. He fight like a Cuban boxer, like a like a Guillermo Rigondeaux. Fight night round four, he proved his mark a little late, but once he proved it, he hands down proved his boxing ability. It was ah, this guy's boxing level was close to mine. Not directly close, but if my overall 100, here's a 96. He proved it. Number eight, <laughs> the people's champ, the guardian angel, O'Hanlon. Hands down, me and him, my biggest rival on fight night round four. I mean, right on uh, fight night champion. My top three biggest rivals on this game. His legacy does not need to be discussed. He beat everyone. Man, him is the two best guys. A lot of people still want us to get it on, but we ain't get it on for our reasons. He want to fight on PlayStation. I want it on Xbox. No beef. We just respectfully, you know, agreed that we fight on the next fight night. He won it his way. I won it my way. I beat him more. He said he beat me more. He didn't. Nevertheless, he deserves to be on this list and deserve to be rated high. And that's what he is, rated high. So, number seven, Sleepy Time. My boy, man, best in Detroit. We work with this guy, and this guy, yeah, <laughs> he can do everything I can do. He can box, he can hit, he can move, and he's so influential that guys, for one, got a gym called Sleepy Time. And then he was the first fighter to use the cross block and everybody using it. So when you hear somebody in your gym say, man, you should use the cross block. Just know this guy right here is the reason that block exists. And the reason that you're about to be good as well as the guy who's telling you to use it <laughs> is good. And in a position to tell you to use it. So give this guy all the credit. Number six, I got Banks. 
a guy that I'm not really cool with, but we respect each other. Man, him is kind of cool. We be cool in spurts. Like, tomorrow we'll beef, and then next week we be the coolest suckers <laughs> y'all see. I got him high for one reason. He was extremely good on round four towards the end. And fight night champion, he has the hardest style to really fight. He's very frustrating irritating and he do make fight night live without a guy like him the game probably wouldn't be as fun number five i got scotland line this is a guy i really don't like at all it's like man him is another thing like banks man him would be really cool he'll diss me we'll start beefing and then he'll do some snake stuff but i gotta put him number five because he was an animal on every single fight night it's not one fight night where he wasn't elite he was elite on round three fight night round four elite top five heavyweights this fight night one of the best fighters ever and we're gonna make this quick because i'm almost at the end but number four terminal the same thing as scotland dominant every fight night some of the best skills i've seen very respectful guy and he went out his way to make Fight night, a fun game. Man, him actually had <laughs> interviews together that you guys can actually uh, see. Man, him had interviews on YouTube. I might put the link in the description below. But there's nobody who can say Terminal Ducknam. And in my opinion, the best jabs I ever seen on this game, hands down. Especially on round three. Number three, we have Bone Don. In my opinion, the most skilled fight night round four player I've ever seen. If my overall was 100, his overall was a 99.9. .9. This was one guy, son. This was like if Floyd and Ray Leonard fought. Like, this was match for match, son. Like, he's hands down solidified. It's number three for me. And number two, full medal 88. Gotta put this guy up there. Man, him ain't get along at first, but he won every major tournament. And when I first came to this console, everybody, oh, you have to prove that you could beat Full Metal before we even consider you an all-time great. If you can't beat him, then, I mean, you prove that he's the best ever. So I'm like, Tss, I got to handle this guy. And the reason he ain't get number one is for one reason. The guy I'm about to say took that over. I, mean, I, I never seen dominance like this. Jahangir Khan. Hands now. The best combination player I've played in any video game. In terms of fight night. Son. The fastest hands I've seen. He fought like Amir Khan and Pacquiao. Had twins. By Mike Tyson. I mean he would attack you. Throw punches. Like he just had that. Uh, son he could do everything his outside boxing wasn't bad he was like a b-level boxer with like the best offense you seen like son he's hands down the hardest fight night player ever and then what really make his number one stand out in my opinion is flat out this what i'm about to say he had people really apologizing crying on the mic like he was a god or something. This guy here, son. If you talk about a guy who know he's good and he's going to make you feel bad about life, this is the guy. He's not going to have anything positive to say about you at all. That wrap up my top 25 list. Uh, honorable mentions. It was a guy named Chuck Hook. He could have made the list. Um, a few other guys, but that's it. We're going to wrap it up for now. It's your boy, Malky Pablo. Oh, I can see running. This done ain't even over yet. Bet we're going to keep running then. Uh, a guy named Chuck Hook, he could have made the list. But the main reason Chuck Hook didn't make this list is because he didn't play Fight Night for a long period of time. And because you don't play a game for a long period of time, don't mean you can't be ranked high, but the main reason I didn't rank him that high, to be honest, is because he was dominant for like two periods of fight night, but he didn't fight many fights. He might have all together, even all his night tags, man, for 
300 fights, but he's definitely a guy who can handle pretty much anybody on this list. Like from O'Hanlon, I believe he even had a three fight win advantage over him. Like I'm gonna tell you his problem. He was the Andre Ward of fight night. Like how Andre Ward career is now, it's like he was extremely good, but he couldn't prove himself for the simple fact. I think he had a great job or whatever, so he couldn't take the time out to really keep proving how great he was. But when he was playing, he was an animal. Uh, Daily HBK is an honorable mention. This is a guy I trained with from uh, when I first got on the Xbox on round four. And I put him as an honorable mention because when the game came, I seen he had potential, but he had an extreme amount of losses and he was ranked 8,000. So, man, him start sparring. And then he was just paying attention to what I was doing. Uh, got really smart. Gave him a few tips. And then next thing I know, he ranked 60. Then this fight night come out. He just dominating on the Xbox. Then he go to PlayStation. Have a successful run. 41 and 0. So he ain't played much, which is the reason he ain't cracked the top 25. But from a skill perspective, hands down, a lot of suckers ain't messing with him. Um... Who else deserved to be on the honorable mentions? Game Bread, Kush Clan A Train, Assassin Killer 14. Those guys didn't make it because their run on fight night was so short to the point, you know, that's what actually uh, stopped them. But in case you guys wondering why a lot of people are ranked higher than others, it's because. I did this list based upon what they accomplished, who they beat, pretty much how effective was their run, and what did it mean to the fight night in general. Because Aki Abdul is a guy, people will say, how he cracked the top 25 over a guy like Chad Cook, and he personally did it for me by winning two $10,000 tournaments on two different consoles. When the tournaments was really a week apart, I'm like, and he was able to actually dominate. Guys like Flip Type, prove he's the Marquez of this game. Counter Punching Genius, Fatal Snipes, Heavyweight Skills, Amazing. Memory Lane, aka Guns by My Side, phenomenal guy. Junior Toe, phenomenal fighter, can do everything. Finishing Dre, Round 3, Champion, Norton Block Solo. Round three champion, chill pill, best fight night round three player ever. So he's definitely on the list. Cold blooded, what he did for the game, his skills on all these fight nights, left hand lead, his overall dominance, and what he did for the game. YouTube videos, earn money, same thing. He had YouTube videos, his skill set, pure boxing, no spamming, no cheating. Um, Warrior, Swifty, Detroit, Rough Tactics, O'Halen, Sleepy, Banks, Scotland Lions, Terminal, Bone Down, Full Metal, Jahangis, all bought something to this game that you hands down can't take away. Uh, honorable mentions also goes to guys who made this game uh, legendary, like 38 Slug, who also would have been extremely high on this list had he played the game a little longer because he's the guy that I will put as the third best heavyweight I've ever seen. Retired 89 and 0. Like OWC son. <laughs> yeah, he ran that. Nobody could mess with him in there. Also, shout outs to Larry Merchant. He wasn't really good at the game, but he made it fun. He promoted fights. We even have radio shows uh with the guy. Also, shout out to Poetic to Drink, uh, Poetic Drink to You, another guy in the community, helped the game out. Uh, definitely try and petition for a new fight night. So, I think all y'all should support uh, that. And I'm going to try to leave the link below if I can. But either way, the next video we're doing now is what we want on the new fight night problems and bugs. That's on previous fight nights, such as the Karen when we in champion, fight night round four, round three. Tell me in the comment section below what are some of the things y'all really want in the next fight night. 
I'm going to see if we can get with a developer. Really break all this now. And do it like that. Also, shout out to the original uh, 8. Um, my boy, Quince Teller, the man. These two guys are phenomenal round four fighters. Who could have really also been on the list. Their skill set alone. Like I said, these are guys who make it fun to play fight night. And you need that. But it's your boy, Malky Pablo, a.k.a. The Great Ten More. I want to cover on the new fight night. And uh, let's try to get a new fight night. Don't be ignorant if your name wasn't mentioned. It wasn't on purpose. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the whole ESG. My boy, Young A2O, next boxing superstar. Uh, my boy, Devin Bryant, a.k.a. Killer Rex. Daily HBK, best in Detroit, finishing jury. Uh, King Bricks, Sire. The up the two guys that think going to take fight night over Bricks and Sire. Make sure you check them out. But it's your boy, man. Leave them comments below. You rock with the list or nah? Let me know. Peace.